Like any good detectives on the tail of a serial killer, international experts on the coronavirus have been called together for a case conference in the hope of piecing together vital evidence. It's now been named COVID-19 and top of the list for those meeting at the World Health Organization in Geneva will be to know how many people are at risk. People infected with the virus seem to pass it on to two or three others on average, making it twice as infectious as flu. That could mean 60 to 80 percent of the world's population being infected if the virus goes unchecked. It may come in several waves over many months or even years. A long drawn out epidemic with a lower peak would be easier to manage than an explosion of cases. The WHO also wants to know when people become infectious. Currently, it believes the incubation period is anywhere between one and twelve and a half days, and that people are a risk to others before they develop symptoms. But when? Some people may not show symptoms at all, or only have a mild infection. That would allow more rapid spread through a population. There's also the question of super spreaders. Steve Walsh, the Brighton case, seems to have infected 11 others. Scientists believe part of it is down to biology. Some people's immune systems shut down the infection, but the virus is still exhaled in every breath. But it's also about opportunity, mixing with lots of people at close quarters. Now, any detective will want a good idea on who the next victim will be. And it's the same with scientists. So who is at risk? Currently, the death rate in China is 2.4%, but that will include people who were infected before doctors knew what they were dealing with. So the long-term death rate in countries with good critical care facilities could be much lower. So far, all the evidence points to older people and those with underlying health issues, such as respiratory or heart disease, being at higher risk of needing medical care. But at this stage, scientists are still getting to grips with a new virus and making hard predictions on what happens next is impossible.